Hello guys, welcome to our video series on distributed systems. So whether you are a BTEC CAC and IT student from Macau to ICT and AKTU or someone passionate about learning the intricates of distributed DBMS or distributed database and systems, you are in the right place. In this series, we will unravel the fascinating world of the distributed computing, covering the everything from the database design to transaction management query optimization and advanced topics like the parallel systems. This introductory video will provide you a quick overview of the subject, helping you to build a strong foundation for the chapters to come. Distributed systems are the, at the core of modern computing, powering the applications like the, you can say cloud computing, blockchain and more. So get ready to dive into the concepts that define today's interconnected world. So don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with your peers to support the channel. So let's make the learning fun and impactful. Now let's get started with exciting journey into the distributed systems. At first introduction or you can say distributed data processing and D DBS or distributed database system. Distributed data processing involves breaking the task into the smaller parts and processing them across the multiple interconnected systems. A distributed database system allows the databases to be stored and processed across different locations while also ensuring users perceive them as a single database. This setup enhances the scalability and fault tolerance, making it ideal for modern applications. However, it introduces the challenges like the data consistency and network latency. Advantages of DDBS includes increased reliability, load balancing and resource sharing. On the uh, downside, complexity in the design, maintenance and higher cost are significant drawbacks. Problems arise in areas such as synchronization, query optimization and transaction management. Understanding the database and network fundamentals is essential for designing and managing this type of systems efficiently. So now, distributed database design. A robust distributed database design ensures the data is logically and physically organized across multiple nodes. Key principles include the transparency in the data access, meaning users interact without knowing the underlying complexity. Distributed DBMS architecture defines the framework for data distribution. Critical issues include maintaining a global directory for metadata and addressing the fragmentation strategies, vertical and horizontal or hybrid. Effective data allocation ensures minimal data movement during the queries. Semantic data control focuses on view management, data security and ensures the semantic integrity. Query processing is layered starting from decomposition to localization of the data. An optimal design tackles the challenges like the minimizing the redundancy while balancing the performance and the reliability. So now, distributed query optimization. Query optimization in distributed systems aims to minimize the resource uses and response time while ensuring the correct result. Factors like the network bandwidth, data fragmentation, and replication significantly impact the optimization strategies. Centralized query optimization, while simpler, does not account for distribution complexities. Fragment query ordering is crucial for efficiency, as it determines the sequence of accessing the distributed data fragments. Distributed query optimization Algorithms use techniques like the dynamic programming and heuristics to find the near optimal plans. By balancing the computation and communication cost, these algorithms ensure the performance is not compromised in the distributed setting. Transaction management. Transactions are fundamental to maintaining the consistency in the distributed database. They must satisfy the properties of atomicity, consistency, isolation and durability. Goals include ensuring the data consistency across all nodes and handling the concurrent access. Transactions are characterized by their state, isolation levels and commitment requirement. A taxonomy or you can say 
A taxonomy classifies the models based on parameters like execution environment and control structure. Concurrency control ensures that transactions do not interfere using the techniques like locking and timestamping in the DBMS portions. Distributed systems face unique challenges such as managing the date locks and ensuring the recovery from partial failures, etc. So now, parallel database system. Parallel database systems leverage the multiple preprocessors to execute the queries faster and handle the large scale data. Architectures include shared memory, shared disk, shared, na shared nothing. Each has unique trade off in terms of scalability and fault tolerance. Parallel query processing breaks a single query into smaller tasks, distributing them across nodes to execute simultaneously. This approach reduces the latency and increases the thru throughput. As data sizes grow in modern applications, parallel systems play a critical role in maintaining the system performance. Advanced topics in the distributed system. As distributed systems evolve, new challenges and uh, you can say solution emerge, leading to advanced topics like the distributed object management, ORM, object relational model, multi databases. So, distributed object management extends the traditional database concepts by enabling the objects to be accessed and managed across the multiple locations, often using middlewares like the Porba or, RA or RMI. Multi databases, also known as federated databases, integrate multiple autonomous databases while maintaining the local independence. These systems require sophisticated query processing, transaction management, and concurrency control to function efficiently. Other emerging areas include cloud based distributed systems, blockchain based databases, and edge computing. As data volumes and real time processing demands grow, distributed systems continue to adapt making them essential for large scale applications future trends focus on improving the scalability fault tolerance and security while minimizing the latency and cost so that's wrap up our introduction to distributed systems in this video we provided a high level overview of the subject touching our on fundamental concepts like the database design query optimization transaction management and parallel system and advanced topics such as distributed object management multi databases as we progress through this series, we will explore each topic in depth, breaking down the complex concepts into simple, understandable lessons. If you found this helpful, be sure to like, share and subscribe to stay updated on our upcoming videos. So in, in the next video or in the next episode, we will begin with distributed database design, discussing its architecture, transparency and data allocation strategies. Stay tuned, keep learning and we will see you in the next video.